for like a film like Yellow Sticky Notes, um, the, all I really used was a 4x6 uh, post-it pad. And when I would draw, it was sort of the first thing that would come to my mind is just the idea of like, you know, finding essentially, like, you, can, you can see I'm not even creating anything with this pen. It, it, mm. I'm just sort of finding sort of a, a flow, a circular flow. And in that flow, you might find that, you know, you, you can create, you know, spheres. And out of these spheres, you know, if you think about it, I'm just sort of building up a character, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's, I don't even know what I'm drawing here, but, uh, you know, you get kind of a, a sense of, And then what happens is, is now I start to draw a little heavier, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, it might be... Does it uh, take you a while to get used to the limitation of the, the post-it note size? Um, it, it took a little bit of time at the beginning because mm-hmm. it's definitely a smaller space to animate mm-hmm. and to draw in. Mm-hmm. And but does it actually force you to focus what you actually really want to draw in? Right. And kind of help you in other ways? Um, yeah, because it, you're you're limited to the, a particular size. Mm-hmm. So with that, you know, if you go outside of the frame, um, you know, your pen slips off the pa- paper, right, right? right? So, you know, you're kind of contained to 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 animating in in a particular sort of space, and that that is sort of limiting in a way. But at the same time, you know, it, it's also kind of freeing because mm-hmm. you know you have those limitations, and sometimes as an animator, you need a bit of those limitations um, to kind mm-hmm. of to kind of be able to create. So in the beginning of this drawing, you're saying you're just feeling the f- flow and like, you, you, you haven't figured out or you haven't decided, like, this is what you're going to draw at the end. You're just feeling it. Yeah, like right now, this, this, this just sort of came out of my head, right? Mm-hmm. You know, this little kid, I don't even know, it's sort of like a squirrel type type mm-hmm. character, right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, it's as I go in and, and sort of work the drawing, we still keep with the sketchiness, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's still always very sketchy, mm-hmm. um, which is sort of how I work, you know, and that's why it's very hard for me to, you know, I can't really hire another animator to help me out because, you know, it's, it's very difficult for them to replicate this style mm-hmm. um, because this is sort of like my way of working. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe this guy's smiling. Yeah, I think in your Emily Carr speech, you talk about, like, finding your own style, right, as opposed to... Well, and that's know, the thing, yeah, like, if you want to draw... a good animator right, to if, if hire it with... Some studio. Or yeah, like if you want to draw like Walt Disney, well, draw like Walt Disney or draw for Disney and uh, go work at Disney, right? Um, that doesn't work for me. You know, I, I'm more fulfilled if I can sort of work in my own style and get away with it. And, you know, and people like it, then it, it sort of works for me, right? You know, and that's sort of just how, how it goes, right? So, you know, and I might not be happy with this drawing, right? The great thing about this is it's a post-it note. I can mm-hmm. take it and, you know, you can throw it away or, mm-hmm. or start again, right? So, right. you know, again, it's just finding those circles and shapes and, you know, you might have two characters here, you know, Mm -hmm. and it just might be something where, you know, these little scribbles actually sort of create the base of a drawing, right? It's, it's, for me, everything starts with a scribble or a doodle, Mm -hmm. right? And then it kind of, it kind of flows into Mm -hmm. something, right? So you kind of flow and then you kind of putting more lines and more weight onto it and then like fixing its position, right? right? Like, you know, mm-hmm. it, and it's sort of, like I said, it, 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 it needs to work itself. It needs to continue to sort of flow. And I may not be happy with the drawing, like, you mm-hmm. know, and then that's the thing is if I'm not happy with it, I just sort of redo it a little bit different mm-hmm. or, you know, or, um, you know, fill things. And I'm doing this very quickly, mind you. Um, but, mm-hmm. you know, normally... And under too, pressure, too, I mean. <laughs> and under pressure, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> I usually, the camera's on. I usually don't draw when the camera is sort of, like, pointed, but... Um, right, and to, in front of a stranger, too. <laughs> right. I'm one of those, those artists as well that doesn't like sort of people seeing work of mine that isn't finished mm-hmm. um, or is still in sort of a bit of a development, mm-hmm. you know. So this is rather difficult and, and, and there's yeah. a bit of a pressure. But um, mm-hmm. you know, at the same time, you can kind of get a sense that, you know, that you're, it's coming, right? And I would mm-hmm. definitely spend maybe a little bit more time sort of working out more with a drawing like this, right? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, this is what took me what, less than a minute to kind of throw this together. Right, right. Right. But, you know, I like the idea that it can stay sketchy, it can stay a little kind of free form, and, and it can flow a little bit, and, you know, there's imperfections, right? You know, mm-hmm. it's not perfect, it's not going to be perfect, mm-hmm. and that's what really, uh, that's the spontaneity of it, and right. that's why I kind of... And this is kind of your style, too, I mean... Uh, well, it's, it's very much, yeah, like, mm-hmm. and that's why I tell a lot of animators, you know, like, 
you know, don't try and steal other people's styles because it, it's sort of like you need to find your own style. And mm-hmm. you can be inspired by many different styles. Like some mm-hmm. of my favorite, uh, you know, one of my favorite artists is Marie Sendak, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I love his sort of line work and his, his sketching and, and Dr. Seuss, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and animation-wise, I, I, you know, there's some amazing, you know, Miyazaki and, and sort of her storytelling and um, Brad Bird, you know, as a director and, you know, I think there is, is brilliance is going on there, you know, when it comes to the storytelling and mm-hmm. aspect. But, you know, drawing-wise, I, I look at the illustrators, you know, and the illustrators are the ones who sort of inspire my work. And, and I try and keep an illustrative quality when I'm, when I'm sort of putting these characters together, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I don't even know what, what I've drawn here, if these are cats or dogs or, mm-hmm. or squirrels. You know, it doesn't matter to me. It's just Darn. something that came out of my head um, as I drew this. And it's, it's very sketchy. And, you know, as I keep working, it would get more refined because if you're drawing the same character over and over and over Mm -hmm. again, um, it seems to just sort of be that way. And, you know, it's just sort of, like I said, it came from a doodle. Right, right. 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 So. All right. Well, thanks. There you go. Yeah, it's great stuff. Thank you. Cool.